But what are we doing today? It's right over there if you saw it. Welcome. 151st International Taste. Oh, I can't talk. Did you hear me say butts? Nope. I sure can. <laughs> if you want the full menu, there is the QR code. Um, new Highland Spirit. Well, they have turkey now and they've got Highland Spirit. Yeah, but so. returning favor. Uh, don't. don't touch things. Oh, there we go. Buy our thing. Okay, am I using my card? They're doing the tour. How much is that tour? $29.99, I believe. That's really not bad. Not, not for that. No. Uh, at some point, I do want to... I don't think I'll make it all the way through it, but I would like to still do... Oh, no, you just have to be a passive person. Remember yeah. the roller coaster insider tour? Yeah. Um, Brian, what did you want to try? The Piri Piri chicken. So this is new. I mean, everything the is new. That. Kashari. And then they've got and dessert. Oh, okay, cool. Right. I don't even know what that is. Is that, is that a, Meat a dessert? Summer? I don't know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Does that look good? <laughs> Looks different. That looks good. That looks good. No, that one's like. And that's sweet. the dessert. Yeah. Let's get it in the sunlight. Ooh, that's. Is it over here? Or over there? That is. I forgot. That's the babuti? The babuti. Yes, beef curry and baked egg custard. Yeah, it looks like a beef curry. It does look good, though. Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. One more bite and then rate. It's got a little bit of sweet taste to it. Does it? Mm -hmm. I, you know what, I think it's the um, the custard that's in it, the egg custard. Oh, probably. It's definitely a four. four. It's definitely Alrighty, a four. Alrighty, let's try this thing. Does it have rice in it? I don't even know what, it's like, a, it's a beef curry? So it's a beef curry. And this is from Africa? This is Africa. So it is a beef curry and baked egg custard. I'm surprised that you like this, it has like a, bitter taste. I think this taste is sweet. There's not a lot of flavor in here. I can taste the custard though. I can. Not a lot of flavor. It's not like full of flavor. It's right. like, it reminds me of like an Indian curry, which is like, has some flavor, but not I super thick. It would be spicier though, being... Theme parks don't do spicy. No. <laughs> I want to know, have y'all tried this yet? Because or like, not from the theme park, just in general. Have you ever tried babuti? What are you gonna eat of it? More than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently somebody likes it. What it are wasn't you giving it? What are you giving it? Honestly, that's a three. A three? Yeah, that's not That's not like I have to come back and try again. That I did eat a lot. That doesn't look like a three. Okay, I'm very hungry. I am so, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. This is what uh, we can. I don't know why I took that. Why? Why did y'all jump into my hand? What is this one? The berry berry chicken. That's the wow. Peri, we really suck the at peri, that. The peri peri chicken. Okay, which is grilled chicken skewer, chili garlic sauce, and a coconut rice. Looks like I had bacon on that bag. Huh? You're gonna like this. Am I? Yeah. Okay. It would be like a four for me. Not a huge chicken fan, but it definitely has flavor. A lot more than that flavor. Okay. Yeah. You're going to like that a lot. The chicken by itself is like a four. No, no. I'm not giving you that for the other thing, but... Oh. I'm, I'm doing one thing at a time. I was just going to have you just do it all at one time, and you could just oh. blend it together after the thing. Coconut rice is coconut rice. You okay. Not even like... Anything special, race? Okay, your turn. Berry, berry chicken. Here we come. You could have just ate the skewer that was yours. What is it? Isn't it good? I think it has flavor. We're gonna be opposite today, aren't we? <laughs> you didn't even rate it though. Yeah, did I did. You? I said a four. Did you? Yeah, the rice was just in, but the chicken is the main thing. Um, you touch a lot of the lime. It definitely that, has flavor. But I don't have any garlic. No, but it's been like marinated. And the rice is just filler that we don't have to eat. <laughs> there you go, have some rice with some chicken. That's yeah. a good idea. Let's see if that, that'll work. Not the rice filled, the back Okay, so out of five. That's not the rice. A three for you, a four for me. Okay, that works. This is odd because I like chicken. Yeah. Next. 
Alright, and then this is. A thing we couldn't pronounce. The milk tart. Oh. It's just a sweet pastry crust and spiced milk coat custard. It's like a flan. Is it? That's what it feels like. That's what it looks like. It's a flan with cinnamon sugar. Okay. Not bad. So then it's not hateful. Yeah, I'd give it a four. Four? Mm -hmm. I'd give it a four. It tastes like flan. Mm -hmm. It's dense. Uh, what is it called? How's it? brulee, essentially. Without the melted sugar on top. Without the caramelized sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, it's, again, I don't need to come back for this one. Right, what is it? What do you think? Three. Oh, three? Yeah. All right. I guess I'll eat this while we're here. Do you want that? I had literally two bites of that. Oh. You're that hungry? I like the rice. I like the rice. You can have more of that, Michael. That you thought was a four and I thought was a three. All right, thoughts on the Africa booth in Ireland. It is, and <laughs> of all, all, all places. Right? Um, not bad. I would definitely try it because it's new. Okay. Um, but it's probably a one and done. Okay. So I'd give it a three overall. Three? Yeah. That's what I would probably rate that booth. It's like, honestly, I don't have to go back after trying what I right. tried. So that's but, exactly but what you said. Trying. But trying. Yes. Yeah. All right, next up to the Hawaii booth. Hawaii, Hawaii. This, Hawaii. Is, this is like one of the crowd favorite places to go to. The, the Sullivan's. Yeah, I don't the Sullivan's know. I don't know. There's not been an announcement up. Uh, no scrollers over here. <laughs> All right, the spam slider is usually extremely popular. I'm not trying that one. Okay. Do you want to try the Loco Moco? That's what the you Loco Moco, I think, is the new one. Okay, hamburger patty, fried egg, sushi rice, and brown gravy. Um, koala? Kalua Kula. pork slice. Wow, I, I really suck at reading. Yes, you do. And then pineapple, coconut mousse. You know, what about the refresher? Hibiscus lemonade looks right here. So, so the loco moco is new. Okay. Um, and that's the. Uh, that's what's right there. Patty. That's this picture. That's right here. there. That's the one with the egg and everything okay. else on it. Okay. With some brown gravy. Do you want to try one of the cocktails, Blue Hawaiian or an Aloha Beaches? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe not this this round, just for the fact that the next booth is margaritas. Oh. That looks good. It does actually look, it smells really good. Yeah. I know you don't like a lot of their stuff, but. What, egg, burger? No, you don't like, you don't like Spam. So. No, I don't like Spam. You could have had that if you wanted it. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. It's like a poached egg. Oh, it's nice and hot. We yeah. need to find a table. Well, there's a table right there. Very good. We'll do this one. Yeah. Ow, 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 it's burning my finger. <laughs> Too Gravy hot. is hot. Gravy is hot. Looks more breakfasty though. Though it does, but I mean, honestly, it looks like a breakfast burger. I do like the fact that they like hide the fact that you get half a burger in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like only a half a burger, but everything else, and it's a pre-made burger because it has the little wavy edges. Yeah. Now should we do it? Cut it in half? Um, no, just take a bite. I don't care. No, I'm gonna cut the egg in half though. Yeah, you do, you. Yeah. The egg is something about uh, what was this again? Can you read it off? This is the loco, the loco moco, the hamburger patty, fried egg, sushi rice, and brown gravy. Okay, cool. So at least it's gonna have a decent sushi flavor. Hopefully. So. Well, the sushi rice is. The brown, brown gravy is what's interesting. <laughs> it's from Hawaii, what do you expect? They're weird. It's a very interesting They're taking 12 years though. No, I do like the background of our tiki's. <laughs> Come over here. I had a background. I know, but it's fun. Um, so, to be honest with you. You don't like it. It tastes like a Salisbury steak. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to love it. Um, from Hungry Man. Oh, I'm not going to love it. I'm going to love it. Like. It's going to be a hard press, too. Hard press, too? Like, not even, it's just a two? Like, barely yeah. just a two? Yeah. That's sad. I'm sorry. I don't you like don't like Salisbury steak, yeah, I'm not though. a Salisbury steak I person. I love Salisbury steak. 
So that's probably what it's like originated from. I don't know. If you're from Hawaii, and let me know. <laughs> or if you know somebody or the origins of it. Because I know they have it over there a lot. I don't know how to use utensils. No, nope, sure don't. <laughs> Can you stop judging me, Michael? You judged first. I disagreed. Yeah, whatever. You're taking 12 years. I am, because it's a lot of, there is a lot of work here. Yes. <laughs> you want to try all of it at one time, too. Is that not how it's supposed to be? No, I'm telling you, that's what you want to do. You want to try it all together. That's what I did. I got egg, rice, yeah. and gravy, and... Right, though. Mm -hmm. It's the gravy. I think it's, I think it's the gravy and this uh, pre-made burger. Yeah. It's not, like, the best of quality yeah. burger. It's not bad. Again, not a thing I would have to... I, I will say it's one of the heavier ones that we've tried so far. Yeah. The other stuff was pretty light. Yeah. But I do like the sushi rice. Okay. I'm going to say a three. So three. There's nothing great. It's a TV dinner. Yeah, basically. With an egg. Yeah. And well, the a loco loco, a fun thing. And the egg is so... Are you, and it's overcooked. The egg is way overcooked. Yeah. If you look at it, it's like so boiled down so they can just place it on top. There's okay. Are you going to eat more? I'm hungry. Okay, we got more I, stuff I, coming. I know, but... We have alcohol coming. I definitely want food. <laughs> So the sushi and the gravy is not bad together. Sushi. No rice. sushi. Well, then just give me the other piece of um, so you burger and I'll be good. Yeah, have the meat. It's like sushi, rice, egg, and, and gravy would be a good thing. <laughs> I think it's, I think the gravy is like a jar gravy, mm -hmm. like a mass jar gravy, not yeah. like a homemade or anything it's, like that. It's canned. Yeah. The big, the big this was like thirteen dollars by itself. No, it's six. No, this was like seven or eight. So. Oh, this is eight twenty-five. I guess because of the egg, but mm -hmm. still. I mean, so now it's not that bad. It's sushi rice, you can have it has a very specific taste. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and eat with one hand, the egg log with the other no hand. Taste. The egg is like just overcooked and bland. Needs more salt on that egg. Yeah. Put salt on the egg bush. <laughs> that sounds weird. I'm sorry, that. So far, you haven't liked anything. Sea World. Oh God, has blown this away. Call back to Sea World um, food and wine. Was it food and wine there? Their food fest. Their, yeah, their food fest. Seven Seas Food Festival. Yep, that's what it was. I'll link that in the description below. But oh my God, their food was so much better than here mm -hmm. so far. Like, I mean, this is cafeteria food. Mm -hmm, in comparison to them. Yeah, so far. And also the better deal. Mm hmm. So, now we go get margaritas at the Mexican Pavilion? No. Pavilion just for margaritas. Just for margaritas. I do like all the little decorations. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've ever had that before. Oh, no. no. I think, I think they're, they're, they've cleaned up a little bit better. It just, seems like it. I just wish the food was up to better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather them spend money on the food yeah. than the theme. Because uh, SeaWorld had no theme. It was just like each little booth was themed, but that was it. Yeah. I would rather have better food. Look at the Eagles. Not the football team. <laughs> at least I knew they were a football team. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I know, right? Do they plant new grass? Yes. Oh, wow. Well, it looks like they don't have stuff. anybody in here. Because <laughs> they've got new timbers and everything. Yeah. Or, I felt really weird. Or they're right there. Where? On the other side of the fence. Huh. I don't see them. Oh, no, I don't see them. Where are you seeing? All right, see the gate? Yeah. What's the big thing beside the gate on the ground? A big hole in the ground. Oh, okay. Maybe Walk I... over this way and look okay, better. Okay, maybe then. Okay. So again. See it now? Okay. I gotta we get... need to get your glasses I gotta get my really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's... Well, they both opened up the Avery back. Aviary. Avery. <laughs> yeah, Lori Keat Glenn. Yeah, I didn't think they would open it back. It looked like it was dead. They had one bird in there. I, was like, I think they, they closed it down for the... Because last time we were here, it was cold. Okay, so they put theming up, right? Mm -hmm. They've bought rights to the song, uh -huh. but they haven't improved the food. Uh-uh. <laughs> because they have to get... Right? All right, what are we trying today? How are you doing today? Orlando, this is a copyrighted song, and I'm getting margarita all over me. Oh, you're messy. I'm already drunk. Wow, 
you got a watermelon and I got a regular lime. Because <laughs> I'm basic. So, so not original. <laughs> okay, watermelon. What are we doing? You got all the salts on it? Well, I did. Probably perfect. Very good. How like much alcohol is in it? I'm not tasting a lot of alcohol, but I'm that also... That could be dangerous. I'm tasting a lot of salt. because we oh, okay. it. Well, that's good for tequila. But the, um... Well, you can definitely taste watermelon. Okay, start. Four. Four? A four. Why? Um, because I'm not tasting the alcohol. Yeah, you're not supposed to. I know, but still. You might be able to feel it later. I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Michael's still drinking his, so I'll just hold y'all from now, oh, <laughs> from here. It. It's fine. All right, regular lime margarita. It's a basic margarita. Yeah, I go for it. You literally should have tried the other one. I know you don't care for pairing, I don't but like it might have been good. It might have been good, but I honestly, I kind of wanted a drink, and I wanted something that I knew I wanted, but I wanted, so I didn't have to like throw it away. Right. So, I just went with a classic margarita. No, watermelon works for me all the time, so. Yeah. We have some beautiful scenery here over behind Laura Keat with the blown out sun behind us. Beautiful scenery. Now we go over to Mexico. Oh, actually. Okay, so this is the pork taco. What is that? Okay, so the pork taco, or I mean the beef taco, is going to be, once I find it again, that is the shredded beef taco, marinated citrus and soy shredded beef. Queso fresco, cilantro, and mango salad, but we do not have the cilantro. Okay. okay. Not a fan. I like the beef, but I don't like the mango. Okay. Is it like solid mango pieces, or is it... It's solid chunks of mango oh. salsa. Mm, it might not be good. All right, let me try. Hold on. Okay. okay. I can definitely tell it's meat, not a... It has a mango chutney. Yeah, but it's, the meat is good. I like the meat, though. As I drink my drink behind the scenes. I told you, the mango chunkies are not the bestest. If you like mango, I bet you'll love this. I can taste cilantro. Oh, okay. Well, I asked for no cilantro, so. So that's the barbecue pork taco, barbecue pork con carnitas, carnitas? Carnitas. Carnitas. So barbecue pork carnitas, queso fresco and pickled onions. Uh -huh. I see them. Her presentation is just like mm -hmm. so far. They just kind of threw it on there. Yep. And then that's the Sopalia Cheesecake Bar, which is creamy sugar pastry dough and sweet cream cheese. Excuse him, he's Scottish. Huh? <laughs> your, your pronunciation. I don't know how to say it either, so I'm just saying. For what? The Sopalia? Sopalia. So you can't roll your R's. There's no R in there. Yeah, but L's turn into R's. No. Yeah. No. You could roll them. No. And you didn't bring a fork. Well, oh, yeah, you didn't bring I love her. I lied. I lied. Okay. Let me on. I lied. Which one was that first? Mm hmm? Okay, that was the pork one first. Because I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, this is the barbecue pork. Hold on. Right. Yeah. Making a mess over there. Mm -hmm. I give that a four. It's pretty decent. Good pork. It's a solid four. Um, the meat, the meat is actually nice and tender. Oh okay. god. Um, it's not really barbecuey flavor though. But is it, it is it supposed to be. Well, it's barbecue pork. Yeah. So, um, but it's not bad. It's definitely something I would. I maybe should take a bite. I would try again. Better than expected. Mm -hmm got some flavor and you're right it is cooked well mm -hmm. so yeah maybe i get three for me because i'm not a pork person right. but yeah no i honestly i don't think you would even notice it was pork if you didn't really know no take okay. a bite so all right we got one more thing are you gonna want to try this i'm gonna have a bite oh, let me grab this pork i'm not gonna have like a buku amount what was this in the soap yeah this is the uh Spicy pot, the spicy pasta. What happened to the bottom? The spice. <laughs> the cinnamon sugar pastry dough and sweet cream cheese. Okay. You're not gonna like the cinnamon pastry dough. What is that? That the dough that they put they, before Pilo. you. Pilo. I know. The, I figured that out. Right with, when with, you, with the block of cream cheese in the middle. I was about to say I figured it out right when you said feel or um, pastry dough, mm -hmm. and you don't like um, baklava, which is nothing but filo dough. This is. Um, Literally, it's just, yeah, it's a, um, 
margarita. That's a two. Okay. You haven't drink any of your margarita. I know. You okay? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna have a very small piece. Just not gonna be happy with it, but watch me like it. And I do. <laughs> oh well, okay. I guess because the cheesecake has made the filo dough really soggy. Mm -hmm. It's not that great, but I kind of like the flavor. It reminds me of nothing but a cheesecake, but a mushy crust. That's all that is. This is a don't need to ever get again. This is gonna be like a two, yeah. I was doing great. If it wasn't so soggy, I may be better off. Oh, I told myself I wasn't gonna have more. What did I do? Have more. Uh-huh, I'm not eating any more of it. Okay. Are you done with that? Yeah, go ahead. No, I don't wanna have this oh. one. Get it ready to go. Can we get that the next time? Yep. Yeah, I'll do two. All right, so we didn't do it to the Hawaiian bar and we didn't do it to the Mexican. Oh, okay, so then we need to do it. Um, we only had one thing from the Hawaiian bar, so we can't fully judge, but right. we've had it in the past. Right. So in, in the, the Hawaiian past, bar, it's been about, it's been a three. I was about to it's, say. It's a strong. I was about to say, that's more of a four than a three. You think so? Yeah. No, we have, it has a very strong drink selection and it has a lot of unique items that are from America. <laughs> Michael's struggling with this big paper straw. <laughs> Not used to wearing a hat, are we, buddy? Nope. Sorry, we don't need that. But I would say the Hawaii Pavilion is a four. What would you give the Hawaii Pavilion? I'm always good. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. Um, and they don't really change much there. They really don't because it's a fan favorite. Right. Everyone sees that one out of all of the other ones on top of it. Right. So it's definitely a, hey, I'm going to go and try it. If you've never tried Spam, maybe try that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like it's actually Well, I mean, there's a lot of, there, there's Spam sliders actually pretty good. You just don't like Spam. No, I'm not a but Spam person. There, there's a lot of stuff on there that you would like, like the Sriracha Mayonnaise yeah. or whatever. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yes, it is. Or, well, it's not coming out. It's coming down. Yeah. So, okay. Right. But then we need a Margarita Bill. So Mar the Mexican Pavilion. Oh, we didn't rate Margarita. Yeah. Uh, how can you go wrong? I feel like that's a five. It's a, I give it a four. I give it a five. Oh, you're not going to give it a beat back? It's a margarita. Why yeah. do you not like it? It's too small. Oh. Um. <laughs> you're getting a sample and it was in your whatever, I guess. I, it's watermelon. I, I, you can't go wrong with it. It's a five. It's so a five for you. Be, so then it's a beat back? Plug. It's a beat back. Our first one of the night. It's a beat back. The margarita place is a beat back. First one of the night. I'm excited. But. But it's also alcohol, so I don't yes. know how drunk it's gotten us. Okay, Mexico Pavilion. Me Mexico, so far, I mean, there was a couple other things that we didn't try, but they're repeats. Honestly, I would give that one a two. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of there, too. I don't need to go back to the Mexican yeah. Pavilion. I go to the Margaritaville, get, or get Margarita, Margarita place. And then just keep on Keep on staggering. trucking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, my margarita's gone. Oh, well, sorry to be you. Um, I can't have more? Not right now. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe, maybe later. Yeah. All right. Okay. I do love the scenery of Bush Gardens, though. <laughs> Finish it up. We have more to go. Yeah, French Quarter number eight is going to be... Well, number seven is first. Don't trip over the train tracks, please. I'm good. I'll laugh. It's a roller coaster. All right. I guess I'll go on this side instead of blocking everybody up. The Mufaletta. Huh? The Mufaletta uh, strip etouffee. Okay, so that's returning. Yeah. The strip club boy is new. Okay. And then they got the banana pasta cheesecake, which we tried in we didn't camp like in time. Florida. Um, no, we got that here too. Did we? No, we got that here for the other thing. No, I thought we yeah, got it in Florida. For the, um, for the Mardi Gras fest. Oh, did, okay, you're right, you're right, you're yep. right. Yep. Okay, this is bad lighting. Okay. Um, but for the Mardi Gras, we didn't like it, remember? Right. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing in new the here. For that one yeah, too. the only thing new here is a shrimp salad po' boy. Do you want to so. try that? Sure. Okay. There we go. Sure. Somebody's been having some beignets. Uh huh. That sauce well, is probably delicious. I'm just gonna bite into it. Okay. I don't like tomato, but. Oh, with, right with Griffin in the background. Good shot. Good shot. Hey, we don't, we, um, hold on, turning it around. Ooh, we don't play in these things, I swear. <laughs> we just happen. 
finished. Okay, back to the crew. Back to Michael. Um, if you're this far, by the way, what should they do? Do you like this? Do they like this? They do they to, like? They need to subscribe. Do they like need it. to hit something? They need to hit the like button. How many times? Gazillions. Once. Just once. Gazillions. Per person. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thought on Everybody this? like it. <laughs> As Michael. <laughs> As tomato hanging out of his mouth. It's not bad. It has spice. It does have spice. I had one piece because I was waiting. I was impatient. Okay, mm -hmm. I gotta try now. I don't like tomato. No, no, you the tomato. Yeah, but the tomato is the main part. No, well, it's actually, not. it's not because it's gone now. The shrimp is the main part. Ooh, there's a lot of bread. Hmm, messy. Very. Like a cocktail mayonnaise dressing. Well, I think it's also because it's extremely chilled. Yeah. And you don't need it that chilled to be good. But because of being a. a Food and wine. Yeah. I like the little bit of horseradish sauce. Yeah. A little bit of a kick. And I don't know if I like the French rib, but I get why. We're in France. Right. Well, it's a full boy. That's what you put them on. Put them on hold your ropes. There's a lot of bread there. That's there is. really thick. There is. But I really do like this salad sauce. There they go. Right behind me. <laughs> I really can't beat food and wine in general, though. I mean, I don't like all the food, but you get to eat while watching roller coasters right. and having great scenery. Right. Have you all been to food and wine yet? Or ever? What were your thoughts on those? Uh, all right, before you eat everything, since you have pretty much done that. All right, what would yeah, you rate that shrimp salad po' boy? Shrimp salad po' boy with the Creole shrimp salad, lettuce, and tomato, which the lettuce is not even worth it. Martin taste it. Um, I'd give it a four. I'd give it a four? I'd give it a four. I would honestly, I'd probably give it a four too. So, a four as well. It would definitely be something if, I, I, so that's our second po' boy we've had from here. Today? No, not today. Oh, we Because when, when we did Mardi Gras. Well, we liked the po' boy that time. Right? And that was really, really good. That one we, we had over in, um, what's the other place? New France? No, this is New France, right? No, it was New France because it was in Canada. That's yeah, how I can, remember yeah, it. Canadian area. Um, Canadian. That, Canadian. that was really, really good. This one was decent. Um, again, too much breading, I think. Yeah, but I but guess the, that's a big boy. Beyond that. Um, oh, we did have beignets. Yeah, whatever. We've never had the beignets from here. <laughs> no, we did once. We did once. We didn't have them from here? I thought we did. We thought that we ate some over there at the wine pavilion. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to go throw this away. And one. we're going to move on to the next one when we have light. Woo! Yeah, um, that was the that new was the new thing. Yeah. Nothing on here stands out to me. No. I mean that does look pretty decent, but eh, yeah. whatever. I don't think I want here. Okay. You want to keep moving? Yep, we can keep moving. Well, what's the next pavilion? The next one is going to should be Jamaica. Jamaica. And it's over by Land of the Dragons. I don't know why I want to keep rolling every single R in this place. Because you're weird. I am. Uh, nice. Jamaica has what? Wasn't there some new stuff at Jamaica? So Jamaica had a new Toto rum cake. Toto rum cake. Okay. And then, oh, well, they're about to do any. So the Bark Castle Spirits okay. is the one that they've got a new cheese dip, mm -hmm. a new chocolate tart, Loch Ness libations. Um, so they got a whole bunch. So that, that whole booth is new. Okay. Oh. Lord, y'all. Yeah, we're, you're, you're blinded. Yeah, well, you're blinded and... Blinded and by so, the light. Here, I'll just start walking backwards. There oh, we go. Oh, my God, that's worse. Ah. That's worse. There we go. You can see us down here. Shadow! <laughs> the park. What were you saying about the park? The park has been actually pretty low-key for crowds. It's a Thursday. Yeah. At what time? It's a Thursday at six, almost 7 o'clock. Yeah, so... But it's also... School's still in, so we're not... Yeah. You know, next weekend is Memorial Day weekend, uh -huh. so that's when everything's going to go crazy. This weekend, not so much. So, uh, and it's nice weather outside, too. Go back, watch out. I, I can see. Oh, until they move. Uh huh. Have you seen Alpen Guys go? Huh? Have you seen Alpen Guys go? I have not, actually. It's not up. Well, that's why we haven't seen it then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then no. Okay. okay, we're skipping. So we've skipped what? Two so far? Yeah, two. Brazil and then Jamaica. Um, yeah. 
Is there, this was the new thing? God, music's really loud over here. Uh, the Toto rum cake is the new thing. Yeah, that's what you're right behind under the speaker. <laughs> yeah, right under, uh, that's why I said the music is horrible. Yeah. Um, but we're not trying here. No. Nope. We're skipping. They have a lighthouse. Lighthouse for some weird reason. Jamaica. Does Jamaica have a lot of lighthouses? I guess the island and stuff. Oh. I guess that would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds good. <laughs> sure. All right, sounds what good. What do you want to try? Yes, it does. A like bourbon the chocolate the tart. Reason. The tart and then the cheese up. Okay, cool. And then the um, Loch Ness, which I think is just a renamed. Loch Ness libation? Yeah, which I think it's probably just a renamed another drink. But Probably. What was in it? Um, Granny Smith apple and silver tequila. Uh, no, I don't. That one sounds new because okay. I don't like Granny Smith. Okay. All uh, right. That tart looks good. What is this one again? On that the is table? the... Pimento beer cheese dip, cheddar cheese, bacon, beer, roasted peppers, and crackers. Looks good. Pretty good. It's cold. Yeah. But it still looks good. I hope I like it. <laughs> the weird crackers again. You like it? You don't like it? It needs to be heated, number one. Okay. Well, that's what we thought last um, time with the shrimp dip or the... The shrimp dip was actually good tasting. Yeah, that was from here. Okay. Okay. Pimento's not that bad. I mean, it's not hateful. It's just, um, oh god, if it had a little softer, really to dense. It, yeah, if it was a little softer, I think it'd be okay. If it was heated, it'd be fine. Yeah. yeah. Again, y'all's dips need to be heated. Let's try the butterfly cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one we just had. Yeah. They're in order. This cracker is stale, though. Yeah. They're from <laughs> they're from Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have, you need to hurry up and eat that so I can try this. Yeah, I know. I'm ready to try this. All right, let's eat. Oh, God, it's frozen. <laughs> what is this one? I can read it off to you. Not many people read it. I, don't, I haven't read any of them off. This is the tart, the bourbon chocolate tart right here. Okay. Bourbon chocolate tart. Which, rich. by the way, a lot of this has been vegan food. Well, that's a good mm -hmm. choice. All the new options have been vegan. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why we don't like them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rich chocolate ganache, pecan graham cracker crust, and whipped cream. The whipped cream actually looks surprisingly good. I don't think it's real whipped cream. I think it's canned whipped cream. It's squeezy cream. So that is very fudgy tasting. Oh, ooh. Very fudgy tasting. You don't like that? You would normally like that. Um, I don't, it's not really extremely sweet though. Oh. It's just more like a fudgy texture. Did we um, rate the cheese dip? There you go. Okay, cheese dip is a three. What would you say? If it was heated, it could be a four. Um, it has flavor, though. Yeah. It'd be really good on, like, a bagel, I think. Probably. Well, that's what pimento is, though. Yeah. So, okay. What would you rate this? That, I'm going to probably rate a three. Nothing special, but not bad. Oh, my God. Extremely fudgy. Dense. Not what I was expecting, but... No, I, I think it's something a, that needs to be set out. Maybe, and instead maybe of frozen. Not, yeah, instead if of you being just zoom in, it's, zoom in and it's like super. Yeah, super I mean, yeah. Hard. I mean, the crust isn't bad, though. The pecan crust? Yeah, the pecan. And, I, and I'm not a big fan of crust to begin with, but I don't think it's bad. No. But it's a, it's a three to me. We're pretty much definitely fam. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Three. 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 Yeah, no. nothing special. Are you going to try the Loch Ness Margarita? Sure. I don't like apple or sour apple or green apple or you anything don't. apple. You don't like a lot of things for doing this kind of stuff. You're not the only person. I had a person tell me that recently because I was like, I don't like pork. I don't like mm. this. I don't like yeah, that. You try it. You I just like try it. it. And you I like just, it. I'm like, it's better than it was than I thought it was going to mm -hmm. be. This is not better than I thought it was going to be. It's still apple-y. But it's very margarita y. Okay. Like, um, Which very is weird tequila. I don't think it's supposed to, I think it's just a, it's just libation. Um, it has tequila in it. Mm -hmm. And I can taste the tequila in this one. Okay. So, it's a little bit stronger than the last margarita. Three, four, four, four three. For me, three. Okay. Because I don't like apple. If we got something that wasn't apple y, I understand why they're doing apple because it's green. Mm -hmm. Like for Loch Ness's 49th or 45th or 46th birthday. 
definitely can taste the alcohol. You can definitely taste the alcohol on this one now. Yeah. Um, I like green, or I like apple. <laughs> <laughs> I like a green. Whatever. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite Kool-Aid? Purple. Purple. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> you know they have flavors, right, Michael? Mm. <laughs> Whatever. So I do like that. It is a little strong. It's um, strong. I can taste all of it. For Especially being, for being pre-mixed. Isn't it pre-mixed? Wasn't it pre-mixed? I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, the, the cheese sauce, the cheese dip, two, or not a two, a three, and then the tart, a three. So this whole booth is essentially a three, yeah. unless you're a drinker and just want beer or yeah. wine or something. Which they have a ton of. Yes, at this one, because it's yeah. Bar Castle. Yeah. So Not Bark Castle. No, not Bark Castle. <laughs> not Whoopity Whoop Bark Castle. Oh. You're an idiot. Alrighty. What's the next booth? Next one should be... Um, Herbal not... Infusion. So the next one we're doing is Island Freeze. Okay. And... What was your uh, rating of the booth? Did we rate the booth? Yeah. We did? Yeah, we said it was three. Oh, and a hey, three? I said it was a three. Oh. I don't know what you said. I thought it was like a four to me. Really? Yeah, because you've got drinks. Well, I mean, you don't like the drink, though. That's true, but that just that drink. It has beer and wine and other stuff at the booth, but yeah. I don't think they're included. What are we getting? Oh, they're out of stock of frozen cocktails. No. No. I'm pretty sure it's just that. The Light Ness Lemonade, the Electric Ocean Margarita, and then the Pork Rind thing. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> the last few drinks of the night are just going to be the strong ones. The margarita wasn't even this strong. No. If we need to get like some regular food, we can get some pretzel and shit. We'll be fine. But, uh, You'll be fine. Are you fine so far? Yeah. I'm uh, fine. Did the last one kill you? I'm just tired. Oh, well, yeah. Um, gotta figure out. A, you wanna go to our typical Being table? Squirrel. Being chased by a kid. I guess yeah. this will work. Okay. What was this? Pork rinds with cold dip. Yep. This is <laughs> Chicharinos. <laughs> Pork rinds and Chipotle dip. Oh, and Chipotle dip. Yes. So, Chipotle dip being cold is not that big of a deal. No, but the pork rinds the pork... are probably going to be soggy. It's in a little too long. Your face is like done. <laughs> you got your literature and eating your pork rinds like a sophisticated individual. Squirrel knows where to go. There must be something fun in there. Sorry, I got distracted by a squirrel. Literally got distracted by a squirrel. So this is spicy. And I don't like pork friends, but we're gonna try it. Here, what would your what would you think of? The pork rinds are horrible. Yeah, they're like weirdly. Really, that's really spicy. It's extremely spicy. I like. <coughs> Maybe not. That's really well, spicy. Well, the pork rinds have pepper on them on top of it. Got an umbrella. Shut up. <laughs> um. <coughs> That burns in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. That's strong. It's peppery. That makes it better. Yeah. <laughs> so, pork rinds and chipotle. I don't like the fact that the pork rinds were in the fridge. Right. I which made them really dense and like kind of soggy. The sauce is good. Maybe with the crackers it would be good. It might have been better with the crackers, yeah. Or, honestly, just like a bread, not a pork rind. Right. Like maybe like a French bread. Like cut up those pieces of, uh, Ooh, a pretzel bread. That would be good. A chipotle pretzel bread situation. Mm -hmm. That's really spicy though, but I want like a spoon to try it, not these things. I'd say, I would say a three okay. because it's been in the fridge. I don't know if that's standard practice. It seemed as if it was. So, pork rinds should not be that way. They no, should be they nice should and not crisp. be dense. Yeah. Oh, dense is nothing. They should be crisp though. It reminds me of like a dried out marshmallow. Yeah, that's kind of the texture they, they, they get. Yeah. And that's not really how they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be crisp and quite very flavorful. I think that's because they were in the fridge. The chipotle sauce, or dip, is literally a sauce. It's not even a dip, it's something no, like a pork. No, it's not the same thickened up. Okay, well try this. I'm waiting for you to try this. So I give that a two. Two? Okay. I like the sauce. I wish it was with something other than pork rinds. Or at least more fresh pork rinds. Ones that weren't, maybe they'd put it on there instead of having it pre-made. So this is? We tried to get the, the Loch Ness one. They didn't, they wasn't frozen yet. All right, this is the electric ocean margarita with um, silver tequila, lemon, and pineapple. This is very pretty tasting. I like this. Yeah. Four Do items. you feel like we're being like really negative on Bush right now? Or have we been so negative on Bush recently? So here's what we've done. 
we did Mardi Gras. Which is like a food festival. Right. And then we went to their Seven Seas Food Festival in SeaWorld in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And then we've come here. I think and the SeaWorld Orlando one SeaWorld is was close. the best. Also, it, and it poured down rain the entire time. But they had 27, 28 booths. With like five things on each one, and every single one had a new thing. No. But then also, the plate presentation was so much better. Yeah. Plate presentation. The, the quality was so much better, it felt like. I mean, a, lo a lot of this stuff you feel like you get at a school cafeteria. Yeah. Um, and then the, the way they're storing stuff like this, pork rinds shouldn't be soggy. No, it shouldn't be, when you chomp on it, it should be like a yeah. chip sort of situation. It breaks off. Hmm. No, this just like collapses. And, and the fact that the people didn't even tell us what it was actually was, we had to ask about oh, it. Oh, you can just grab it. Oh, no, it, that hasn't it, been like I'm any like, other booth. You've got two people standing there doing nothing. Yeah. I mean. They seemed inconvenienced to get us a drink. Yeah, so you can definitely tell that there's a separation of the parks now. <laughs> We're right on the bridge. What is this bridge called? Do you know? I don't know what this bridge is called. Let me know in the comments. Um, but there goes. Loch Ness Monster right behind us. And I made a video on it of my review. Did you watch it? I did. Did they watch it? I hope so. Did they like it? Hopefully. <laughs> you got a rainbow banana. Oh, you're an idiot. Um, I'm going to link it down below. And so you, you can see. Watch. You do. There's like five other links down below. That's amazing. You want to know why? Because we actually have been actually doing stuff that makes relevant content. What? Not in the shot. How are you not in the shot? I wasn't in the shot at all. You're in the shot now. Wasn't in the shot at all. I promise you. Yeah. They know what your face looks like. They don't need to stare at you. <laughs> and that's why your, your video bombs. But whatever. <laughs> that's why I wear a hat. I said um, you were bald, I said. What's the, oh, I thought that's what you said. No, I said that's why your video bombed. Oh, yeah. So bombed. It um, does. <laughs> what's the next place? Italy. Italy? Italy. Is that, where is that? Well, at? I was explaining it to you, but however you decided not to pay attention to oh, me. Oh, I don't pay attention So it's fresh me. pasta. Yeah. Basil pesto. Ugh. Okay. Olives and sun-dried tomatoes. So. That's their new thing. Minus pasta. <laughs> so. Um, and then the next one is turkey. So we have skipped in total, probably after Two. this one, three this booths. Be th this will be our third. Three booths. <laughs> so, out of, what, 17? Uh, so it's not really a true count, because some of them are nothing but, but bars. bars. Yeah, but, like, Sangria like, Garden, that's one, that's considered one. That's considered a booth? Yeah, by that's itself. not really a booth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Duh. Um, yeah, who wants Sangria on? Yeah. A stupid hot day in Virginia. It's not that hot. It's actually pretty nice. No, not today. But I'm just saying because we do have typical summer days, right? Right, right now. We did a couple days ago. Yeah. Or a week ago. We were in the 90s and it was freaking well, April. Sangria can be cold, right? If you put it on a you one don't piece. know that. One, one piece. One piece. <laughs> one, one ice cube. <laughs> one ice cube. That's what is it. that from? Fastmaster. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> you don't even just want one. <laughs> Have y'all watched Taskmaster? Like literally, that show is like addicting. It is. I love uh, it. Taskmaster UK. Don't yes. don't ever search for Taskmaster. Anything else? Well, no. Don't just because you don't like the other. People. Once you watch the UK one, that's all you'll watch. True. All right, all right we're at another booth. Woohoo! This is Italy. This is the Italy one. Yes, oh, the Italy. one that we're gonna skip. Yes. I'll go show you the menu real quick. They have a giant meatball. I don't want that. I think we had that when we were in Florida. I have what? I think the we had that meatball we before. Oh yes. So, Do you know who you look like? Don't even go there. What's his name? No, not even Ke not even Kevin. Um, Fred Durst. Is that his name? Is that the twin to what's his name? To who? To the guy. Guys, you suck at No, this. to Elf. Who plays Elf? Elf is um. You know who I'm talking about? Will Ferrell. Yes, but he has his little twin drummer dude who wears his hat backwards. Oh look, it's Pantheon. Okay, moving on. Do you know who I'm talking about? Okay. Uh -uh. They uh, they act like twins. They're I, not twins. I was joking for a Durst because he was on Bisc getting all the horse hat backwards. Um, um, yeah, you look, you look weird. I know. I'm tired. <laughs> You're getting tired. Out. How many more do we got to go? One. We got a 15 sampler. 15. 
So how much does that work out? That was... Go, let's do the correct math unlike <laughs> last time. So 15, it was 100. It was 100 hours. 100 dollars divided by 15. Where's my phone so I can do math correctly? Hey Siri, what's 100 divided by 15? Six dollars and 67 cents yeah. a piece. So it's 650. Um, so we even even paying the surcharge, even paying tax. This one actually saved us money. We didn't. There was nothing under six under no. seven dollars. No. Everything got. we started getting was like eight, nine, yeah. maybe a little bit more. So now, this one actually made us money. I, I do feel a little jib when you get the sample sizes of the drink of the drink because. You're getting a full punch of that, and they're supposed to be fourteen yeah. dollars. And I think that's what they expect you to do. And then, they're, then they said, "Well, you're saving twenty percent." Yeah, you are. Not off of a, a normal size, though. Yeah, no. Because the food stays the same, the drinks do not. No. So. So I just spend it on food, and if anything's over six fifty, and you want to try, it, try it. There you go. Then you beat the system, right? And then if you're a platinum. You get two extra. You get two extra per person per visit. Well, per platinum card. Yeah, per, per platinum card. So. so we got, we have both of ours and then our roommates. Yep. So that's, yeah, we had enough. So we've eaten a lot. We only have, how many cards do we have left? Four or five. Really? Yeah. You're going to have to hand them out to people in the room. Yeah, because you can't, you can't use the passes anyway. Nope. Just, well, um, because we got jaded with, 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 with SeaWorld. SeaWorld. But it's not bad. Cows. Um, oh, no, they're sheep now. Oh, wow. Huh. See? Sheep. Oh, cows are uh, they haven't changed the sun yet, so. Oh. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's worth it. Do you? Okay. I think so. Like driving two hours worth it or uh, more? Or less? You think that's a bad idea? Yeah. Um, I think for us it's worth it. 45? 45 to an hour. Okay. Um, but also, if you came on the weekend, you'd have more time to do more stuff. But it's also going to be more crowded. Probably, but all we've done is just the, the food and wine fest. Sure. And we have not even walked over towards Loch Ness yet. No. So. Okay. Well, so right. what are we doing? So first yeah, one, the Chesapeake style crab cake slider. This is Chesapeake style. Yeah, exactly. Chesapeake style crab cake micro greens. Okay. They're not green. And romalade sauce. Okay. Bacon and cheddar hush puppies. Okay, those have been returning. Those come every year. Everyone yes. loves them. We've had them before. Cornmeal fritters and honey butter. Okay. And then the apple crisp is oatmeal crumble and bacon jam. Okay. And then this is the <coughs> strawberry refresher. So the strawberry refresher, strawberry lemonade. It's house made lemonade and strawberries. Yeah, not hard. E easy, and it was easy fresh, peasy. fresh to end the night. Yeah, and not <laughs> alcoholic. Yeah. So I ended up. I ended up using everything. Yeah, <laughs> so we went, that's 21. Different items Different today. items that we have tried. And we today. also missed four booths. Yes. And we didn't order everything at every booth either. No, so we ended up, we aimed for all the new stuff for the most yeah. part. It was, so. it's, it's, I, I won't say it was bad, it's just not like SeaWorld was and other food items that I've ever had. Right. Okay. Let Michael you I started, I've started. Yeah, Michael's just ready to get some bread in his system. Yeah. They're always good. Mm -hmm. Good, good hush puppy. Yeah, you just fry it. Mm -hmm. And the honey butter's really good. Yeah, that's probably all you're tasting. Well, I need to taste, really. Yeah. So, if you're a hush puppy fan, they're five out of five. <laughs> are they really? They really are. They always are. Okay. I like, I like, and they're, they haven't been sitting either. Oh, that's good. And that's a good thing, so they're not all stale. Yeah, stale. they literally fry them up right yeah. when they... That's one of the few boots that is part of something that was there, not a boot that they built. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to try one now. I have to try one. I want to try last bite a little bit more. I can taste the bacon. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Strawberry lemonade. What'd you give it? Oh, that? Yeah. Yes. Fine, actually. That's always a V-back, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Hush puppies are a V-back. Okay. So, well, one of the first places to start out your whole thing is V-back. And this is actually really good. It's I'm... not too tart? No. So that's the problem with some of their lemonade here, is it's a little too tart. Especially during the hot pre summer Yeah. Pre-packaged. Pre Pre-packaged. Pre I am. I'm not drunk. Huh? So you're not drunk. No, not at all. <laughs> it's not too tart. I like it. But usually we get the frozen. 
which is totally different. So the um, you've got a lot of the strawberry puree. I like it. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's good. Yeah, so that's what it, that, it's the it's tartness really, is still there. Yeah, but it's not. But it, it's, it's overpowered not by the strawberry. Sweet. Yeah, but it's just it's overpowered. Um, all right, so okay, this crab cake looks weird. Here's my thing. I thought this was the bun. That's the crab cake. I um, I don't want to eat the floury crab. So the micro. So cream. do you want to eat this? To try it first yeah, with everything. I'll try it first. You don't like the micro. Oh, remember, you're still attached. Oh, to I didn't. I, did, I had no idea. <laughs> that, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just move it over. I'm fine. I'll give this to you yeah. with my season pass. <laughs> All right. So off we go. I quite literally thought that was a bun. I know. Because it's shaped weirdly. Yeah, it is. A lot of bread. But where you were at. I'm so. at a theme park. Yeah. But I don't want to flavor. See, I've never been a big fan of crab cakes that are that like that because of that. Unless they're, just, unless they're heavy with... I'm going to uh, try just a piece because okay. it feels like it's nothing but filler. There's, there's a little bit of crab. When you come from here and you're used to all the crab. Right. But I guess if you're out of town you and you happen different. to get it and you want to try it, then cool. But I feel like this is giving Chesapeake Bay a bad rap. Well, I think if you want something different okay. at the theme park, I think that would be the way but to I, go. I because... feel like this is a little too heavy for right. a theme park. It's a lot of bread. Yeah, I don't even really want to look at it either. Yeah, it's not a good one. No, that's not a good crab cake. No. Now, I will say this. Let's give them the benefit for this. Bar closes at 9. It's 8.15. And it was just fried. And, yeah, so it's not... Now, that has a weird taste. I don't know if they overcooked the outside into it. It's usually not like that. It probably needs to be... The oil just needs to be yeah. changed. But... Also, I don't like fried crab cakes. I like broiled crab cakes a little right. bit better than fried. But, okay, if somebody was, again, coming from out of town that's never had a crab cake, per right. se, do you think they would like that? I think they would. I think it's okay. I don't think it's horrible. Okay. I just think for what we're accustomed to, mm. I, don't, I don't think it's a very good crab cake. Or a little bit bougie. Well, I mean, we're, again... We're from the coast. Yeah, we, we see a lot of crab cakes. Yeah, so. a lot. Okay, so now apple crumble with bacon jam on top. No, this is not an apple crumble. This is an apple crisp with bacon jam. Okay. You uh, know that's all you, right? Because I don't want to. I will take a bite. I'm just, again, not an apple fan. Oh my gosh, there's huge pieces of apple on it. Did not expect that. I'm glad that they put audio and attracting people to push or to walk Blast. down. Thoughts? The, um... It seems soggy. Flavors don't complement no. each other. The bacon and the apple, or...? Um, the the oatmeal is... Oh. Too granoli. When it should be probably a little... It looks kind of like really soggy, too. Yeah, the apples are ribbon sitting. So they've, they've sucked up some of the stuff. Um... So I'm not going to try that, to be honest with you. I don't like apples. I know. I don't like granola. And I don't like bacon jam on top of sweet stuff. Well, you don't even taste it. Well, either I didn't, I didn't taste it. I have any. Or I'm not eating any more of that. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm going to have some more hush puppies and be done. Okay. Virginia Booth, minus the hush puppies. I don't get anything else, unless it's a refresher, maybe. Well, no, I, I think... Try it. Earlier in the day. Okay. I think that might be a big difference, because I, th this feels like it's been sitting. Gotcha. And that feels like it's been sitting. Loch Ness, there she goes. I, I found her. She's over there. So, as we stand in front of Loch Ness Monster, as it goes above it goes us. over our heads. <laughs> it's, still, it's still quieter. Yeah, it is. Well, it's no quieter. It, it's still, you'll have to ride it just to judge for yourself. But watch that video, watch my review. You watch it too. You gotta like it. I did. Okay. I did. But as we stand in front of Loch Ness, we wrap up Food and Wine 2024. Bush Gardens Williamsburg. I would give it a three. No, you have three. I said a four. You said a four. You would give it. I would give it 
if I gave it a four, it'd be a very, 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 just barely over a four. But you wanted to give it just barely a three. But, no, I wanted to give it a hard for three. So it was worth a three. It's one of those events that if you're here and it's going on, great. Mm -hmm. If not, it's not, it's not worth a special trip. So we kind of did some rough math. Don't quote us on this, but like 250 for one person. Yeah, because the fun, the fun cards are $100 a pop. Yeah, roughly 250 with parking. Parking is $30 If you're going to do a sampler pack and everything else. Yeah. Eh. Mm. Eh. You got to be a, a, a diehard. And, and if you have to like roller coasters, then I would come more for the roller coasters yes. and then just happen to like food. Yeah. That's yeah. what this event is. Yeah. And... You do I save guess, a little bit of money with the samplers. Yeah, surprisingly. Um, I don't know if, if it's... We wanted to try everything, so that's why we got it. Yeah, we want to try it for them. I want to give my but honest review for them. If I was coming here, there are a couple things I would buy separately and probably get like the actual sizes, especially on the, the margaritas. Drinks. Yeah. Um, but beyond that... He's being very loud. It is very, very loud. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, as always... Be awesome today. Stay awesome, because you're awesome, no matter what anyone tells you. All right. Bye. Say bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm ready. I'm so full. I'm stuffed. I'm like and tired. tired and full. Uh, where's the car? Right. Are we where's there yet? Valet? Are we there yet? Valet. Are we there yet? Valet. Are we there yet? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>